Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing Home Sweet Home. This is a brand new Thai horror game, just came out today on Steam, and I've been looking forward to it for quite some time. I remember playing the demo about nine months ago and being pretty impressed with it. Before we get started, according to new FTC regulations, I am obligated to disclose to you that I did receive this game for free. However, I normally disclose that anyway. I just, I thought it'd be a funny little meme to be like, oh, FTC. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> I thought that was just gonna start it. Babe, wake up. It's late, huh? Mm. You have to wake up. Okay. I'm getting up. Jane? Oh. Last night was way too much. Way too much what? Who am I? Alcohol? Sex? Drugs? What are you getting into? Too much what? Stress? Hey, okay, here's our, our notebook. We don't have any objectives, so midlife crisis. Don't know what's going on in our life. Find a way home. Well, where are we? Okay, um, yeah, let's just leave then. Uh, so we're just starting the game like this, huh? You okay? We're just walking. You shouldn't be winded yet. Are we in a warehouse? For like... Crappy little... <laughs> crappy little elephant miniatures? I mean, I guess there's more than that here. There's books and... Pottery... Looks like a living space, but who would live here, to be honest? Let's uh, turn that off. I don't want a copyright claim for music. That would be a bummer. Room key. Cool. Let's zoom in on the room key. <laughs> uh, 7640. Sure hope that's not a code or anything. Newspaper dated September 28th, 1996. A university student reported missing. A student from a famous university in Bangkok has mysteriously disappeared for more than two days. Witnesses reported that she was heading home after a severe stomach ache. More on page 15. Too bad we don't get to check out page 15. I want to hear more about her stomach ache. Since it's such a newsworthy topic. Local girl has stomach ache. Teacher's unsure how to proceed. Find a way home, okay? Hey. Hey, you. Hey, talking to you. Find a girl to ask for an exit. Find a girl. Well, what if we run into a dude? Can we not ask him how to leave? Things are getting redder. Means things are getting scarier. Well... Somebody throw their trash on here? Falling garbage bag. Cannot identify what is inside. Are we playing an alien or something? Cannot identify what is inside the garbage bag. Why do we want to know? That's fine. We can just leave it closed. Garbage bags are meant to be closed. I will say that. Who do you suppose that is? Sorry, my controller was on the desk and I didn't want it rumbling. Where'd she go? Where did she, where did who go? Your hun? What? This is different. Hey. 
There you are. Yes. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, uh, bye. Let's leave. What? Okay, uh, uh, go, 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 go! It's <laughs> so mean. They gave us, like, just enough time. There's nothing over there but a brick wall, so... Oh good, she can just teleport through the walls. Perfect. Yeah, she's not an invincible... ...supernatural dimension hopper or anything. Danger must get out of this place. No shit. <laughs> Duh. I think I want to stick around for a while. I'm getting weird stuttering here and there. Might have to turn the graphics down. Which I would hate to do, but... I, I saw that happen. It wasn't like I, I turned and saw it fall. I saw it. nothing pushed it. Okay, let's keep going. I wonder why this is called Home Sweet Home. Surely this isn't my home. Where the heck is that coming from? <laughs> okay. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, dude, we don't have time for this. Close it, close it. Oh, I don't think she's after us. Okay. Hang on one second, guys. We'll try to fix this. Oh! <laughs> you can't. <laughs> You can't access the options from in-game. That's a problem, isn't it? Okay, well, I guess I'll wait a second. Hmm. There we go. Okay, we don't have to hide it. Let's go after her. Um, I think that might be the only thing to do here. Does it say you on it? Is it a present for me or? All right, there's nothing in here. Is this all a game to you? Think this is funny? Oh, we can hide in here. Okay, good to know. I might use that in like two seconds. I like how this dude just isn't reacting to anything anymore. The first time she showed up, he was like, what the? But now he's, he doesn't care. I think this is all parts I saw in the demo. Um... What was that? Was I supposed to see something just there? I thought I was locked in for a second. Horror games love doing that. They love to just lock you in. Oh. The wood pallets are blocking the way. Find something to break them. Okay, we gotta follow her. Well, she did just leave this place, and I think this is where she was crying, so... 
Really? How tall are we, by the way? We're as tall as the door. Are doors shorter in Thailand? Or are we a giant? Or both? Note with Chai's number. Bring these to Chai. Shane's hair and nails. Okay, hope I don't need to know that number for anything. Cursed nails jinx. The cursed nails jinx. Do you have hatred towards someone? Enough to want them dead? Then you are at the right place. The cursed nails jinx is a spell that can make your enemy suffer from nails piercing through their stomach. That sounds awful. The result can be deadly. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. This jinx has existed and has been passed on for many generations and can still be found today on rare occasions. Instruction. You'll need something from your target, such as hair or nails. Or some hair. Such as a nail or some hair, is what I was supposed to say. Next, put them inside the doll made from graveyard clay. Tie up the doll with the thread used for shrouding corpses. Not the holy thread used for other occasions and ceremonies. Pierce the nails which were used to seal the coffins of those who died unnaturally right through the doll. Once it's done, your target will experience an agonizing pain in their stomach as their stomach is filled with cursed nails. I don't think the nails really need to be cursed at this point. You could just fill their stomach with blessed nails and it would still have the same effect. Only skillful casters can perform this. It cannot be achieved by novices. Wow. Nope, got kind of smarmy towards the end. That you think pretty highly of yourself, don't you? You put some nails in a doll. Big whoop. Oh. Crowbar. Turn off. Eat something bad? Food poisoning? Something about being together forever is what she just said. I'm, I'm not interested. Sorry to say. You go back in there, yeah. Close the door. Yeah! Have some time to yourself. You know what? Yeah, you can have you can have, you can have time to yourself. <laughs> I'll I'll go away. I'll I'll fuck off. I'll <laughs> just go do your own thing. Okay. Here we go. Let's open this up. All right. Danger! I must get out of this place. Yes. <coughs> danger! Danger! Will Robinson. We get it. Look at this gross air. I wouldn't want to be breathing this crap in. Who goes there? Okay. It checks out. We're clear. What happened? Oh. Oh, hello! Is this the doll with the nail in it? Well. I'm pleased to meet you. I'm gonna turn off the light now. I think she's sad. Did she just leave? I guess she wasn't that sad. Going to the movies, are we? There's a bunch of crap over here. I thought these were snakes for a second. Here's all the nails. We found them. I guess this is where somebody likes to do their little spell casting. Oh, I'm a wizard with uh, 11 intelligence and I cast a spell on you. Strange looking dolls. Hugging dolls wrapped with the holy thread. Oh, you're not supposed to use holy thread if you want to curse somebody. Lechery Jinx. The Lechery Jinx is a spell that can forcefully make people fall in love. What a charming name. The Lechery Jinx. 
The noticeable feature of this spell is two dolls tied up in a hugging pose, one male and the other female. Oh. All right. Create two dolls from graveyard clay and put something that belongs to your target inside one of the dolls. It can be either nails or hair. Then tie up the dolls together with the holy thread using shrouding corpses. Only skillful casters can perform this. It cannot be achieved by novices. Once it's done, put the tied up dolls under the pillow of your target. That I feel like that's the toughest part. That's the part where you really gotta be skillful. Tucking it under their bed? Like, without their knowledge? I guess you would have to be. Good luck trying to get somebody to do it. With you knowing about it. Uh oh! Go, 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 go! Where could I have gone? Certainly not in this locker that's right next to you and the only possible place I could have been. Oh, she went out the door, right. Hi, stay in there. You stay in there. Okay. Ew. Calm down. That gets a reaction out of you? Ew, I walked through this blood that's not even up to my ankles or anything. Calm down. Alright, let's pop this back in. Okay, this is where we'll retreat. Lockers appear to be the only place to go. What the? Uh huh. I thought What? I thought she was gonna hear it Electrical room authorized personnel only. Oh, we probably got to go fix it. Oh It's busted This door can't be open seems like the fuse is broken If I had a dollar how many horror games I've played where you have to go find a fuse, specifically a fuse. Oh, shoot. I'd be rich enough to not work anymore, is the rest of that sentence. But it's not really true, because I probably run out of money after about a week. Because <laughs> it hasn't been that many. What are you doing? Go! Are you heading straight for this? No way. All right, I knew she wasn't that smart. <laughs> you said together forever. Yeah, well, he lied. I'm sorry that you had a shitty experience with a crappy boy or girl. Hopefully she won't see me right here. All right. Let's tail her. I feel like a secret agent right now. I feel like a spy. Oh. Great job. Doing awesome. You're very you're very good at being a ghost. What is this? What is this? Newspaper date September 30th, 1996. Shocking! Witchcraft to blame for missing student. Don't come in here while I'm in here, please. The investigation team was shocked after finding satanic evidence inside the missing girl's room. She has been missing since September 26th. This shocking discovery. More on page 13. These are crappy articles. They really give you, they give you bad nut graphs. I know some journalism terms. All right, what's up? Oh, you, I can't come in, right? Cause you're in a pool of blood. Okay, I can hide in here if I need to. I don't think I need to though. 
I don't think she's... What up, fam? I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna close the freaking... Uh, this is really gross. You don't think she's gonna come in here, do you? No way. Dude, is she gonna come in here? No way, right? I know. Come back to me. She needs to turn, okay. Let's look at her. Let's look at her feet. Let's look at where her feet go. You gonna turn? You gonna turn? She's got like a knife with her. The hell's that all about? Dude. Right? Oh my god! A usable fuse. Well, I certainly hope it is. She's like, turn that shit off. <laughs> Is she gonna turn it off? I, I certainly hope she does because... Yeah, honestly, at this point, you need to get over it. Please leave. I'm gonna turn this- I'm gonna turn this thing off as soon as I get out of here. Oh my god. Stop! Wow! I guess I could have gone just then. She's head that way. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, guys. I understand if you want bail out now. I'm gonna wait. For my time. Just pacing, huh? Okay, we're good. I remember in the demo. Oh my god, I could just come back here. Wow. I remember in the demo, she had a more complicated route. Like she traveled further. But thankfully, this time, well. <laughs> okay. Let's put it in. Put in that new fuse. Yeah, no shit. 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 Go, 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 go. Oh, I thought she might have- I thought she might, like, hear us. What is this? Rolled metal amulet. 
A tiny rolled amulet inscribed with magic letters mostly worn by men. It's believed to protect those who wear it and also make them attractive. Come on, man. What's a little tiny amulet going to do? Come on. Oh, you gotta be fucking serious. Oh, that's not- Damn it, come on! Did I say you gotta be serious? Sometimes I- sometimes I say that. Oh, she's after us. No, no, no. Don't get caught in the blood, it slows you down. Oh, what?! There's a QTE. Go, go! Oh, come on. What? Where was that? Okay, that's where the demo ended, so... We're officially past the spot where the demo ended. Don't tell me it was just a dream. Answer the phone. Hey, Tim. It's Dew. What's up with you, man? Hey, Dew. It's Mountain. I haven't seen you in ages. Hope you're doing well. Call me back so I know you're not dead. Okay. I got- I got no problem doing that. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> I got no problem doing that. Wow! This is where I was? Tim, were you playing pretend with the boxes? I mean, I can understand that. Look at that little Harry Potter closet. That's cool. Aw. These are our personal photographs. Oh, my, my face is a little blurry, though. I don't know why I'm having performance issues in the house. Very odd. Piece of mysterious photograph. A piece of a mysterious <laughs> Yes, thank you! That's what the title is! Thank you for that description! Come on, come on game, don't do this to me. Is it my computer? What is going on? Daily report. Royal Thai Police. Daily report file. Police station Samut Prakan. Okay, whatever. Uh, time... 9.26 a.m. on November 29th, 2013. Mr. Chad Chai Tubloy, Tim, 34 years old, resides at number 12, Mu 6, Paknam Muang Samut Prakan, came to the police station and reported that on November 29th, 2013, at 3.30 a.m., wow, he found out that Miss Natharanya went missing and hadn't been found yet. What he found in Mrs. Room led him to believe that an assault had taken place. This report will be used as evidence of his presence at the scene. Police captain, that person, signed as informant. Okay. Lots of stuff I'm not even gonna bother trying to pronounce. So, wow. A contact list of people that Jane would probably go to. What, that right there? Is there any way for me to see it? Not for my eyes, huh? For your eyes only. Oh, now the game's fine. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> it's still kind of stuttering. I'll try not to bring it up. Sorry. It just bothers me. Front. I had a quite unsettling dream last night. So strange that I thought it was real. Something or someone was chasing after me all night long. It came to me and pulled me hard. The pain that I felt was so real as if it wanted to take my life. But I managed to escape and saw the light at the end of the path. I couldn't remember anything else. Back. There was nothing scarier than that. What was it that I saw? How are things? Hello? Jane? Hmm. That's interesting. So that's basically... That's very similar to a dream that we had. Right? Alright. Oh, look at this kitchen! I don't know why I think it's cool. Maybe it's like the enclosure here. I uh, can't read this or anything. Cool cabinets too. 
And they got their washer, their dryer. This is a, this is a dryer. Oh, where's your washer? Do you hand wash your clothes? We call them washers in the south. Where's your washer? What is this? Kind of reminds me of Silent Hill 4. Being trapped in your apartment. Um, where's that piano coming from? Do I need to go back there and tell you to cut it out? Oh, Had to put the uh, picture back up. Any more pieces of the mysterious photograph? That's what I'm really after now. Is that just a collectible? Fine, I will collect them all. All right, let's check out the phone. Hey, Tim. It's oh, due. I already heard this. What's up with you, man? Can I call him back? I haven't seen you in ages. Hope you're doing well. Call me back so I know you're not dead. All right, I'm gonna go upstairs now. I don't have time for this. Open Jane's room. Okay, well, there's a thing down here. Jane's Diary, October 27th, 2012. There's something that I want to share. Today is simply one of the happiest days of my life so far. Why? Because we finally had our own house. It's Tim's, to be exact. He worked so hard and saved up for this house. Tim also said that the house was our first anniversary gift since we married. Isn't that the sweetest thing ever? Thank you a million times, Tim. I love you more than anything. Well, bet you never thought I'd be reading your diary, huh? Maybe you did, because you wrote it down like that. Oh, Jane's drawing. Anything suspicious here? Oh, Jane's drawing that looks like a map. Yeah, okay, so I see... I see her key. It's over... by the, um... table on that. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop talking and go get it. Very sad piano music. We get it, she's dead. It's very sad, but... Did I see something just now? Is that my eyes playing tricks on me? I thought I saw somebody go in here. <laughs> oh, it's just the shadows. Look, if you look at the, uh... Look over at the sliding glass doors. See that? I think that's what I saw. Kind of creepy. Okay, so it's over here, right? Right? This is where the map said it was. Oh my gosh, spare key ring. It was right here. A key ring that contains spare keys for emergencies. Well, it's an emergency. I need to get into your room right now for some reason. Oh look, there they are. His face is blurry in all of them. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, Tim, what are you doing here? What are you doing up so late? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just writing. It's your boyfriend. Oh, yeah. Can I take a look? No, it's private. Get out of here. Oh, it's it's in okay. her diary. Well, it's time for bed. It's time Is for that bed. Jane's diary. Let's read it. Well, we already we already read a couple pages from it. So, mysterious photograph. I wonder what that mysterious photograph is because it it looked just like a regular photograph. All right, let's do this. I felt like I was getting worse. I kept seeing things that weren't there. It kept happening. And one time, I thought someone was in the house. Sometimes I felt like I was being watched from somewhere. It felt creepy around the stair cupboard as well. Felt creepy around the stair cupboard. That's where we came from. Geez, you're not doing any better, Jane. Take great care of yourself for Tim. Did I just talk to myself in my diary? Haha, <laughs> weird me. Tim hasn't come home yet. We don't hang out anymore, not to mention going out together. We should pray a little and make some good karma. Who knows? Things might get better. Okay. Well, I don't think praying together is really going to do anything. Probably have to actually spend quality time together. Uh, 
what what is, what are all these? I've been feeling so forgetful recently. I thought that the phone was in the kitchen. I was looking everywhere, but then I found it in the bedroom. I knew that I remembered, or maybe it was just me. Come on, Jane. Maybe I was a little bit stressed out, huh? Get yourself together, Jane. One more thing. I kind of knew that I haven't been fully rested lately. That's why I thought, though. I thought I saw something strange around the house. The television was broken, maybe. The signal was hardly there. There was one time that things got me so freaked out, though, because I was sure I heard a funeral prayer through that static sound. That totally gave me chills. That's pretty, that's pretty creepy. Any other, any other ones? Around here? No, things look, things look good. Where are this cable? These cables go back. Jane? What? Okay. The loading screens are really long. I just want to say that. They are very long. Okay, we're back here! In the mysterious land underneath the stairs. And there's no way back. Jane? Is that you? Hopefully. The sound's not coming far from here. Left or right? Right. Finds Jane. She might be here. She's not here. Jane's dead. Mysterious photograph, are you back here? <laughs> Piece of a mysterious photograph, where are you? Oh, dude, I was kidding, but I think we found some. Oh, it's a picture of a knife. A picture of the, an unusual looking knife. Hmm. Okay. Where does that go? Picture of a... What was... The... The hell was that? I'll tell you what, I didn't... I didn't like whatever the heck that thing was. And... Gotcha! Caught you staring, you peeping Tom. <laughs> okay, calm down. Let's search for Jane. Okay. What the heck was that thing? It was like a little gray man. A little froggy gray man guy. Thing. Right, we're back in this weird building. Oh, that's pleasant. Look at that. Isn't that a great portrait of somebody? Here's another cupboard under the stairs. We can't open this one, though. This looks like a basement. Wow, what is wrong with you? Come on. Jane's Diary, May 2nd, 2013. That was not better. I was sure I fell into a deep sleep. Then why on earth was I in that old wooden house? And what was it with that shadow creeping outside? I've never seen anything that gigantic before. I was able to get myself out of that nightmare back to my bedroom. What's happening to me? Are you having... Are you having dreams where things are following you from the dreams into the real world? That's certainly not creepy. Oh. Poor doggies. Hope you guys stay safe and hope you don't come in here. Just looking around, just looking around. There's some light switches and... What is this? Oh, I need to know a three-digit combination. Okay, we'll look out for one. How do we close it? Group photography. 
photograph of a group of teenagers. Well, who cares? Why are we keeping that? Stuff that in your pocket? Why? This photograph might be important. A wall written with three different colored chalks, conveying something. Okay, let's take a look. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight white marks. There's three pink marks and two blue marks. So it's eight, three, two. That's the combination we're looking for. Eight, three, two. And looks like we're good to go. Eight, three, two. Let's do this. Uh, eight. Yeah! I'm very good at indie horror game puzzles. Okay, so we're outside now. There's nothing even in there. That sounds really close. Maybe I don't have to be worried for the doggies after all. Th yeah, I saw that. What? What? Oh. Hello, shadow people. Damn. Wait. We're in the si- The Yasatoon police radio station reports that the chief policeman has planned to arrest all the speeding bikers on Yasatoon State Highway. The police claim to have captured more than 10 bikers so far, but some fled the scene, which includes Mr. Pichai Menapebu, a suspect from the motorcycle robbery, and believed to be the leader of this gang. Keep you posted when we receive further notices on this. This is Uh, the police radio station reports that the chief policeman has planned to arrest all the speeding bikers. Oh, it gives you... Okay. This is what I just heard. Okay. Okay, so bikers are apparently a problem here. Is that all? So now what? Um... This is different. That doesn't open. That's not a good sign. Ghost girl could come out of there. What the? Okay, I'll let you guys do your own thing over there. I'm gonna read this. Newspaper dated March 9th, 2002. File thieves! Old woman robbed and beaten. Neighbors reported a fight the night before. March 8th, it was reported to the police that Mrs. Chinda Banapaipun was badly wounded and found unconscious. She was taken to the hospital before the police arrived on the scene. Investigators revealed that there may have been more than three people that inflicted such a brutal beating. Her son is believed to be the one leading the robbery. Well. What are you guys doing down there, you rascals? What does that say? I'll return. I'll get what belongs to me. Whoa, okay. Thanks. Yeah, I really needed that. And they're gone. And they're gone. Ooh, what just? What the fuck is that? What?
Guess what? Guess what? I'm closing this. Guess what? I'm closing it. Alright. Uh, great. So, is there anything else in here? Okay, let's go. What? Why am I out here? I just turned back, tried to open the door, it was locked, I turned back. It's a different room. Where'd you even come from? There's nothing over there. Whatever. I'm not gonna ask how you freaking dimension hoppers do it. I don't like these things. You know what? I didn't like the schoolgirl crying schoolgirl ghost, but I definitely don't like this. They don't know I'm in here. Are we gonna go out into the house again? No. Oh, it slammed. Okay. Slammed shut behind me. This doesn't open at all. Mm hmm. All of you, please listen. When you've done unkind things to others, either to family or friends, and you badly hurt those who are kind to you, and you commit crimes, and you cause others disturbances, the karma will be facing you when you pass away. Once the karma is done with you, you'll be reborn as a ghost, drawn in wonder to all the places you were once seen, lost in the eternal limbo. All of you may be aware of the screams which can be heard in the distance at nightfall. The sound made by a creature with a mouth as small as a pinhole. Unable to feast, unable to go. Wandering around aimlessly and hungrily, full of pain as it is being tortured. The moral here is not to cause anybody pain or hardship because that is where you'll end up. Once the wheel of karma has turned, what you do comes to bite you. It goes around, comes around. So that's what was said. I didn't know if bringing up the subtitles would make it stop or not. Okay, so... When you badly hurt those who are kind to you, when you commit crimes, like what we just read about, the old woman whose son robbed her, when you cause other disturbances, the karma will be facing you when you pass away. Once the karma is done with you, you'll be reborn as a ghost, drawn and wandered to all the places where you once sinned, lost in the eternal limbo. Interesting. I think that might kind of explain what we're seeing a little bit. Something to think about moving forward. Down or up? Up. Let's go up. Okay. Let's go down first. That isn't open. Oh. Nothing down here. Damn! I thought maybe... Okay. Yeah, we gotta go all the way up then. Didn't hurt to look, just to make sure I wasn't missing something. What was that? What? What the 
heck is that thing? How do I get out of here? Whoa! Go! Oh! He got me! I tried to just sprint past! <laughs> I tried to just sprint past him. Yes, continue! Come on, buddy. 